Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got episode 80 of Who Should You Choose, which is kind of mind-boggling to me, uh, where we go through all the prior videos, questions, and comments, and answer your hut lineup decisions. Uh, guys, don't forget, I haven't mentioned this actually, so I guess don't forget because you don't know. Uh, so every few or every few nights a week, we're doing a watch party stream uh, where we pick a basically pick a game in NHL or probably baseball as we go along uh, at night to watch together, and uh, we throw some bets on it from uh, the boys at Bet Warrior. I'm now partnered with them, and uh, yeah, so today we are going to watch uh, Chicago and Dallas starting at 8:30 again on my on my Twitch channel down below. So we're going to watch with everyone, uh, throw some bets down, bet responsibly, obviously. Um, and, uh, make sure over the age of 18, but yeah, we're going to throw, uh, we're going to throw some money around and see if we can't, uh, you know, have some fun, watch some games at night. We've got the new setup back there now, so, uh, it's been a blast, but all right, let's get into today's episode of who should you choose? And we'll kick things off with Sean. Here is my team. All right, let's take a look here. Um, Kessel, Couturier, and Matthews. All right. Hughes, Trache, Bowser, Lemieux. I have balance. I have barrage, balanced distributor, howitzer, speedster, passing. Okay, that's a lot. I have 500k for gold players. Unsure what my next move should be: offense or defense. I'm gonna upgrade Gretzky when he comes out. What do you think I should do? All right. Well, uh, honestly, I would probably upgrade. Oh, you've got 91 Trache. Your defense is fine, to be honest with you. You want to focus on a little bit more offense here. Lemieux, I would upgrade because he is the best right-handed card in the game right now. When you upgrade him, I got his I got his 94. It's insane. I would upgrade him because then you could also put him at center if you want. Uh, but I would definitely upgrade him first. After that, man, your center is kind of weak too. It's time to move on from Nobles. What you could do is take a look at that Bernie Nichols card. If he goes under 400k at any point, he is a very good value. Um, but I would look for those two. Uh, from Sean, hey sleeves, free to play. You probably won't believe that I pulled four masters and made one million coins on flipping team of the year cards. Who should I save up for? Four master sets. <sighs> I was thinking of selling Matthews and getting a defenseman for four, for five to eight hundred k with the money from Matthews, and then picking him as my free master. Not a bad idea. Um, all right, so he's got Stam, Crosby, Matthews, Lemieux, Katria, Hughes, Fisher, Solani, Morenz. Lafleur, Beliveau, Besser. Don't care if he's off wing. Um. All right. So yeah, you do have a you have a pretty weak spot here, but you don't really need to go overboard for left handed defenseman there. <sighs> if you pulled the ninety four and you're going to get a free one because the alternative would be to take Subban or Ovechkin and you're fine on the right side. Um, yeah, I would take, I would sell, uh, someone and then sell Matthews, grab a right-handed defenseman. You could probably get cleft bomb. Um, you won't be able to get team with your headman, but, uh, cleft bomb would be a really good move. Uh, and then just pick Matthews again. That's a solid play. I like it from Sebastian. A sleeves love the content. Here's my team. I have 400 K 10 icons to upgrade Mario and possibly the Fleur. I don't think I can upgrade my D right now, but do you have some ideas? My forwards. I'm close to the free 94 tube. Think of nickels and sell my tradable one. All right. So we'll take a look quickly at his team. Uh, so he's got all the team based synergies he could need. Um, yeah, I would, uh, yeah, I would sell nickel. Dude, your team is stacked. I would sell nickels, um, upgrade Lemieux to the 94, um, you could also upgrade Gretzky if you haven't got him yet. You could sell Nichols, grab Gretzky. Um, might be a might be the play to be honest. With you. you don't have barrage, so that helps work towards that. So Mike says, "Hey, what's up, dude?" Nolan Hart. All right, A slaves. My first line is eighty-eight Lafleur, Lemieux, McDavid. Second line, Neely, Gretzky, Kachuk. Third line again, Laforsberg, Draw. Okay. Uh, distributor, Wingman, Howitzer, which free card do I do? Okay, so if he goes, Gret oh, you still have an 80, 90, or you still have 87 McDavid there. It's Matthews, man. Unless you are absolutely stacked silly at left-handed forwards, you're taking Matthews. The card with, with, um, just a phenomenal build, and he get if he gets Thief, he's a great center. So, yeah, don't overthink it. Go with, uh, Matthews. Hey, man, I've sparked Distributor, uh, and I'm close to Barrage, so I'm trying to activate it. Here's my defense. Okay. All right, not bad. I have 1.5 million. I'm not sure if you think making or think of getting Team of the Year Makar is worth it, or I could buy 94 Subban for Hansen, 91 Carlson for Green, and OEL for Jack Johnson, and 90 Barham. Okay, which is the best option? 94 Subban, OEL, Wierenski, Carlson, Byram, Carlson. Or if you went and kept those and sold... Or and just bought team of the year head or team of the year Macar. Hmm. 
I like the second option, to be honest with you. This is a really well-rounded one. I like it. All right, from Matthew Crowley. All right, hey, slaves love the content on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you, man. Your new merch looks fire as well. Guys, don't forget, check out my merch store again down below. Thank you, my dude. I have 400 KHE season to 700 tradable players. Is it worth it to save up for Vasilevsky? Where should I go next? Your team isn't good enough to go after Vasilevsky, my dude. Um, the only way you're going after Vazzy if you have 1.5 mil and your team needs to be just insane. Um, now, not that your team is bad, don't get me wrong. Um, but I mean, well, actually, nah, 88 Doughty still on your squad. I mean, that's the only hole, really. If you upgrade Lemieux to, you know what, man? It would get you out of Synergy Prison. I'm not seeing many upgrades. No, I still can't recommend you do that, dude. There's no reason to other than Synergies, and that's... I, I wouldn't, man. You could get an upgrade over Neuendijk, but he's untradeable. Mm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I would never recommend send, spelling, spending that much on a goalie, but your team is pretty stupid, so... Aaron Chin, Ace Sleeves, love the stream. Here's my squad. I'm pretty sure I'm in the Synergy bin. <laughs> Of 100k, 200 gold players. After my objectives, I will have around 12 collectibles. I will upgrade Mario when he comes out for the extra distributor. After that, I have two options. Upgrade Lafleur and Sundin to replace Mysec. Upgrade Sundin and Kachuri to 94 for extra howitzer and a few tweet with a few tweaks. Theodore out, McDonough in. Would I take untradeable or tradable for seven or 70k this week? In this case, if you're deciding on this many upgrades, I would probably take untradeable. Let's take a look. This team with 94. Kuchiri and Sundin is insane. I would go that route. Hey, Sleeves, love the content. Here's my squad. Not sure where to go next. Uh, well, uh, now that he just came out, you want to upgrade Mario Lemieux. Uh, defense as well, man. You got to move on from... Uh, you, you're, let me guess how many Spark you have. Yeah, you have Spark and Wingman activated. I mean, if, if Potvin's untradeable and you've got to use him because you're in Synergy Prison, I mean, even... Oh, man, the 92 is so mediocre. You need a defensive man. If you if you really care about the synergies that much, you need to upgrade Pop Van or Niedermeyer, one of them. That's where you need to go. I really don't like Pop Van though. From Evan says first, <laughs> tough. Hey bro, I appreciate you all doing for the community. I'm at a crossroads with my squad, not sh quite sure where to go next. I have about 900k. Maybe go for Iggy. I mean, dude, you have like a max team here. I mean, yeah, probably just start saving for a Ginla. Sam Bulls, and here's my team. I have some. Uh, I have sold some prayers while making room, and this is the team I plan on making. I find it valuable to activate Workhorse and Wingman. Do you have any corrections? Let's take a look. Um, no, man. Like this is a this is a great team. I'm surprised you don't have more synergies with how many great players you've got. A lot of play. No, man. Still, I would start working towards a a third synergy, man. Like Swarm was pretty easy. Barrage would be even better. Um, but yeah, dude, this is a great team. Like, no no real holes. I mean, you could upgrade Oliver Ekman, Larson, and Petrie, but they have synergies that help you out. So, no, this is a great team. Flying Cat Suits says, Hey, Sleeves, thanks for doing this. Uh, you really have helped my game this year. Glad to hear it, man. I'm wondering where to go from here. I like my team, but I know it's not ideal by any means. I'm upgrading Lemieux to 94 as soon as the set is released, and I have the collectibles banked. I'm hoarding gold players, and I have about 550 saved up for the next round of upgrades. I also have about 310 coins ready if necessary. I don't feel like I'm in Synergy Prison, but I know I don't have a lot of wiggle room. The floor of Katrice, Sveshnikov. 89 Van Reemsdijk. I know I need to move on from Pronger, but I haven't found out who to replace him with. I currently have a distributor. Lastly, if I can... If... I can ask a quick question. Do you feel EA is doing enough to keep players feeling... Okay, one second here. I don't know who I figured out to replace him with. All right, in terms of where you need to upgrade next, getting Lemieux to 94 is big, but honestly, you need a left-handed winger. I mean, I would take Matthews when you get him. Yeah, you should be able to get a free one. I would get Matthews for sure. Uh, you do need a left-handed winger. Um, outside of that, he said, last if I ask a question, do you feel like EA is doing enough to keep players feeling unique this year? 
I really enjoy the changes this far, making faster but small players more valuable, but also keeping the monsters viable with their size. I'm concerned that getting everybody to 99 is going to wash player differences out and feel like they should maybe do more to keep ratings down so players feel substantially different from one another. They've done a great job this year so far, minus keeping Glindros slow as he was very quick in real life, but I'm worried the end game will see players all blurred together in ratings soup. So this happens every year in pretty much all Ultimate Team modes. With how EA does overalls it's pretty unavoidable so we saw it with phil housley i'll use him as an example he's in his 98 he has 95 face-offs and that's not because he's great on the draw or ea made a mistake it's just they have to upgrade something to bring the overall up um which you know is why so i'll use mlb i use mlb as an example for everything but their diamond dynasty mode is so good in terms of content and the reason why is because their ratings go to 125 so i'll use mcdavid as an example um let's say you want to get you want to up his speed because he's one of the fastest players in the world you could have his speed at 125 so that doesn't necessarily mean that his body checking has to be you know 92 it could stay down at like 79 because his other stat is up so high so the overall increases but it's at one his stats can go to 125 um they do that in mlb so an 89 overall card you know might have zero like you know 55 fielding and be awful in the field but have 125 power against righties and lefties so he's viable as a bench bat but not on the field so i think that's where they have to go i think the upgrading by speed by 0.5 does really help and i think it'll be a much better end game because you will notice guys that have 90 speed as opposed to 99 you will um but it is going to get a little bit closer last year was the worst like absolutely awful everyone who was big had 99 skating and it was just terrible so i don't think it'll be like that it'll be a little bit better but until they go to that 125 method i really don't see how they're going to increase it talking in my face says no to game my dude what's up buddy jonathan watts says just as new as absolute money for me however at the time i couldn't justify spending 360 plus on a goalie so i sold him since selling him a ps4 he's been in the auction house for 450 500 is this reflective of the market or just some odd posts have you heard from the community that he's the best i know people say goalies suck but a noon would make a couple saves per game that were just different makers um yeah oh so the style icon goalies don't check enough boxes for me nor does the 93 flurry i've tried 95 vasilevsky who wasn't very good player at my play style on the flip side corpus Allis seems to have too high of an aggression at 77 if the noon doesn't go down in price who would you recommend i currently have 86 Leonard, who's average and i tried 88 demko and he was okay but not even close to a noon i think of trying the new 88 alankin and as he has 68 aggression and 93 glove high 62 so he's not tiny that land cannon, it could be a very very good card again um you know 68 aggression means that he's going to sit back and he's going to be able to stop one timers a little bit better than guys that have high aggression he's also going to be helpful much on a breakaway um and then the glove high stat is very important that being said so in terms of when the cards are out in sets guys they're always going to be at their cheapest this is just supply and demand unless the event is a complete dud and then they move on so did on amico for example from the blockbuster event no one wanted him when he was released and its price is just going to keep dropping because the new hotness comes out and no one wants them to spend money that being said so justice newton for example selling him for 360 no one wants the goaltender while the event's out but he is one of the best goaltenders statistically i said that in my video is like those master set goaltenders they don't suffer from the cap hit that you know for being taller and he has such low aggression um so you know that that is why you'll see that now it's not very common they'll jump up 100k and stay there um but that is why so uh, i use team of the year as an example um you could get a team of the year card for under a mil pretty much the entire time except for dry sidle um and now if you want a team of the year unless it's panarin you're basically spending 1.3 to 1.5 million and i knew that was going to happen just because there's so few the, the only way you can acquire them is on the marketplace and there's just so few of them because people just use them so that's that's kind of why that is um in terms of recommending yeah lankin if your play style needs a small or a low aggression goaltender lankin is probably the best from cam coat sleeves what's up guys uh hey sleeves here's the squid <laughs> here's the squid from max levy Lafleur Taves Hughes. Ooh, it's Taves Flex. Love to see it. Uh, all right. So, was planning on taking Heat Matthews, obviously, but as you can see, all, all of my centers are lefty, and lefty wingers would be untradeable. So, do you think I should still go with Matthews and stick him in the boys till endgame, or take Subban for future lineup flexibility? Just feel like Subban isn't nearly as good as the values Matthews is for free, and isn't that big of an upgrade over Murphy or even Petro? So, this is what I've talked about quite a bit on stream as well. Matthews is by far the best card, and it, Subban and Subban is like the fifth best I did my rankings video on him here's the thing man like right-handed defenseman if you can't get the top end guys it's very hard to come by 
So you could take him to be a little bit cheaper. There's so many good righties. That's why you don't really take Ovechkin. Um, you know, in some cases, he's definitely one of the best cards to take, though. Um, in your situation, I mean, I would take him to replace Hall for sure, man. Yeah, like, even if he is untradeable, 100% take him. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's Who Should You Choose. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And subscribe for notifications or subscribe with notifications on to get your best chance to get your question answered in the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, boys.